Confident Computing number 807, Five Steps to Better Security Working from Home. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here. I've been answering questions here at Ask Leo since 2003, and it's been an interesting couple of months when we take a look at the things that have been going on in our world. So I've tried this week in this edition of Confident Computing to bring up a couple of interesting ideas. That featured article is indeed an important one. Five steps to better security working from home. If you're used to working from an office, you're also used to having somebody else worry about the security of what you're doing while you're there. They have their network set up. They have their firewall set up. They have whatever it is that keeps your system safe um, in your office. Now, all of a sudden, if you're working from home, it's your responsibility. And there are five steps that I think you should take or at least consider. They're things that will sound familiar to you, but they are definitely things you'll want to pay extra attention to as you bring your work home with you. Also this week, you know, we're not traveling as much uh, because of the lockdown, but when we travel, it's always super annoying if you get locked out of your email account, specifically your Outlook.com account is where this seems to happen the most frequently. Before we start traveling again, you may want to have a look at how do I keep Outlook.com from locking me out while I travel before you go. It'll help you set up a couple of things that'll basically prevent you from experiencing that really, really frustrating situation. How can I make an income working online? You know, for those who aren't working from home, who are perhaps not working at all, it seems really lucrative to consider doing, well, in a sense, what I do, sitting here at my desk at home, making an income working online. The problem, of course, is that the scammers are out in force as well because they know that there are a lot of people potentially desperate who are trying to look for a quick buck, a quick fix to the problem and working from home seems like such an easy, lucrative thing. I got to tell you, while it's possible, it's not simple at all. This week also, you know, the mail program in Windows 10 is one of those programs that is uh, ubiquitous. It's very simple. And a lot of people like the simplicity of the program. It doesn't clutter the interface with a lot of unneeded features. One of the features that I discovered, though, is that you can actually configure it to manage multiple email accounts. So add an account to the Microsoft Mail program. We'll show you exactly how to do that. This last Saturday's Ask Leo Live was all about a feature in both Gmail and Outlook.com online that I think is seriously undervalued and underused. And that is the ability to set up filters, things to process your email as it arrives and help you get rid of some, organize others, and just generally manage your email better. Setting up filters in Gmail and Outlook.com has the edited recording of the live event as well as uh, the ability to look at the entire live event if you're so inclined. Now, speaking of live events, um, I've made a decision. April was kind of a test. I did a live, an Ask Leo Live every week uh, for the entire month. And while it was fun, it also turned out to be a fair amount more work than I was expecting. And I had honestly fewer attendees than I was hoping for. So I'm going to switch the live events to be monthly. For now, tentatively, it'll be the first Saturday of every month going forward. I've also got something else in my back pocket specifically for my patrons. I still have this making a video itch that I want to scratch. And I think I've come up with something that will add some value uh, for specifically for the patrons of Ask Leo. So if you're a patron, keep an eye on your inbox. I'll be sending you some email uh, describing exactly what I have in mind in the next couple of days. Um, it is one of those things where I'm constantly looking for ways to add value specifically for my patrons to thank you for your patronage and your support of Ask Leo. This week, we also had a TEH podcast. Uh, Gary and I spoke a little bit, or actually a lot, about 
contact tracing and how that is being worked on by an unlikely pair of cooperative companies, Apple and Google. We also touched on, well, a bad dream that I had that turned out to actually wake me up with a realization that there was something I wasn't really covering properly in my security setup. So I spent the next morning working on that to solve the issue. I got my wife a new computer. I got her a, okay, I'm going to keep you in suspense on that one. We'll have you click through at least or listen to the podcast to find out more. And of course, as we always do, we touched on a number of other interesting topics as well. I hope you find this week's newsletter useful. If you're not already a subscriber, visit newsletter.askleo.com and you can sign up right then and there to get Confident Computing, the newsletter from Ask Leo, every week. Thanks, and I'll see you again next week.